This is MSJ Chem and in this video I'm going to look at trends in electronegativity and electron affinity. So we're going to describe and explain the trends in electronegativity and electron affinity down a group and across a period in the periodic table. Let's start with a definition of electronegativity. Electronegativity is a measure of the attraction of an atom for a bonding pair of electrons. Electronegativity is measured on the Pauling scale which assigns fluorine the highest value and francium the lowest. On this periodic table we have the electronegativity values and you can see that fluorine, the top right of the periodic table, has an electronegativity value of 4.0 and francium, the bottom left of the periodic table, has an electronegativity value of 0.7. You can also see in group 1 as you go down the group the electronegativity decreases and across a period, for example period 3, the electronegativity increases. So here we have the trend again, decreases down a group and increases across a period. Next we'll have a look at the reasons for those trends. Electronegativity decreases down a group because the bonding electrons are further from the nucleus, so that's a decreased electrostatic attraction. Electronegativity increases across a period from left to right because of increasing nuclear charge which results in an increased electrostatic attraction between the nucleus and bonding electrons. Next we look at electron affinity and we'll start with a definition. The first electron affinity is the energy released when one mole of electrons is added to one mole of gaseous atoms to form one mole of one negative ions. The first electron affinity can be represented by this equation. We have one mole of electrons and they're being added to one mole of gaseous atoms to form one mole of one negative ions. The second electron affinity corresponds to the addition of one mole of electrons to one mole of gaseous one negative ions. So here we have one mole of electrons and they're being added to one mole of gaseous one negative ions to form one mole of gaseous two negative ions. The first electron affinity of an atom has a negative value which means it's exothermic, energy is released. However, the second electron affinity However, the second electron affinity has a positive value, energy is absorbed, that means it's endothermic. And the reason for this is the extra repulsion as you try to add an electron to a negative ion. Next we look at trends in the first electron affinity. So the general trend is the first electron affinity decreases down a group. Finally we look at the reason for the trends in first electron affinity. So the increased nuclear charge down a group is offset by increased electron shielding. Electron shielding occurs when the inner electrons, for example the electrons in n equals 1 and n equals 2, shield the outer electrons in n equals 3 from the positive attraction of the nucleus. And the second reason for the decrease in electron affinity down a group, the greater the distance between the nucleus and the outer energy level, the weaker the electrostatic attraction and the less energy is released when an electron is added to the atom. So we've covered the trends in electronegativity and first electron affinity in the periodic table. Don't forget, as always, check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet which covers the main points of the video.